And then this whole piece comes right off. Slides in place and is ready to go. So to get started, we're going to press. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we've got an interesting one for those looking to get into 3D printing. It's the unboxing of the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. So this is my third A1 Mini in the shop. I've got a Bamboo Lab P1P, an Ender 3 V3 SE from Creality. I've got an Ender 3 Max Neo from Creality as well. And then of course, the third A1 Mini. Alright, and while I'm unboxing the printer, I just wanted to take a minute to say that this video is not sponsored by Bamboo Lab or Creality. All of the printers and everything in my shop behind me was paid for with my own money, and all of my opinions are my own. I will dig in a little bit more into the specs of the A1 Mini in a little bit. Alright, so right off the bat, you can take it out of the box, and it is in this wrapped up bag all nice and neatly. You can see everything is packed up very secure in the box. Super easy to take off. Don't throw away your little uh, bamboo pack. This is going to contain all of your lubricant grease. I believe it's also got more thermal paste for the hot end. It's got all your little tools to take it apart as well as some replacement parts. And then we've got our spool holder for the single unit A1 Mini without the AMS. This is our little filament wiper. Gets attached to the end over here. We can remove this little piece here. This should slide right out of there and our bag will come off. Underneath the bed, you've got these little pieces here. Just be careful not to lift up on the bed too much. Everything just comes out real nice and easy. The gantry is locked from the factory. So with that little quick start bag we got, we can take out one of our Allen wrenches and we'll just unscrew these two little screws here. And you can save these or you can get rid of them. You can also use them to install the bracket for the spool holder, but they also give you screws for that as well. So up to you. The next two screws we're gonna be removing are right down here. There's four screws total and this removes the gantry lock. And then this whole piece comes right off. And essentially, that's the unboxing process. It's not much to it. There's a couple things we have to do before we can boot it up. One of which is installing our Bowden tube for the filament. That's as easy as clicking it into place there and choosing one of the spots on here and clicking it into place. Then it is locked in there, and that is ready to go. They include this little wire guide here. You can snap it in place on there, and that helps to keep them together when they uh, are moving. All right, and the next item out of the box that you're going to want is this little guy here, which slides right into there so our filament holder can sit on the back of the machine. So from the same location that we removed the screws from previously, these two holes here, it attaches back here like such, using the two screws that we took out from our little bracket. We can thread them in here. All right, and then this simply slides in place and is ready to go. Our purge wiper here will get installed with the black part facing the front of the printer, and it simply just slides into place and gets secured with one screw labeled for purge wiper. When you first boot up the printer, you'll be greeted with the Bamboo Lab start screen. Unleash your creativity. So to get started, we're gonna press start and we'll choose our language and our region. And then next it's gonna ask us to connect to a Wi-Fi network so we can set it up with Bamboo Handy. All right, so we'll open the Bamboo Handy app, and we can go to Devices, and press Add. We'll hit Allow, and it will scan the QR code. We'll hit Accept, and Confirm. And we can name our printer now. All right, and now the printer is going to calibrate. It'll take about 20 minutes or so. 
The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini features a build volume of roughly 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven inches, which I find to be perfect for most small to medium projects. In fact, about 90% of the projects that I do in my print farm here can be printed on the A1 Mini. It's equipped with an all-metal hot end and a stainless steel nozzle that can achieve temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius, and the heated bed goes up to 80 degrees Celsius. The tool head can move up to 500 millimeters per second, and Bamboo Lab claims the printer also achieves accelerations of 10,000 millimeters per second squared, letting you print faster without sacrificing quality. And on top of that, it's packed with features like the auto calibration that it's doing now, vibration compensation, and active flow rate control, which we'll see a little bit later on. And the best part is right now, you can pick up the A1 Mini for only $199. So get yours before I buy them all. Just kidding. I swear this isn't sponsored. They're just really good printers. And when it's finished, you'll be greeted with a screen that shows calibration complete. All right, and it looks like a new firmware update is available. I've already updated to this one on both of my other A1 minis, so I am comfortable doing that. And just a quick look at what everything looks like before we make our changes. All right, to make room for this guy, I am going to move all of these printers, just shift them down one. I ended up needing to unplug both of the Creality's and plug them in a little bit further down. The cables were not quite long enough. All right, that should be it. All right, we're gonna get this guy going on some dumbbell ends. All right, so I'm just loading filament into the A1 Mini. I'll keep hitting retry until I see filament coming out of the end here. All right, and there's filament, so we can hit done. Uh, before I turned it on, I did pre-clean the bed with some Dawn dish soap and hot water, uh, then dried it off with a clean towel. Next, I'm gonna get the dumbbell ends sent over to the A1 Mini. Four sets using Elegoo's Rapid PLA Plus in black. And the printer is now downloading the file from the cloud. All right, now it's gonna go through the same bed leveling vibration compensation test that it did when it was calibrating the printer. And if you tap into there, you can see the current operation that it's performing. And it's doing my favorite process, the vibration compensation or the XY mechanical mode sweep. Now it's going through a process where it'll clean the tool head off it touches it in a few places up front, it'll wipe it on the nozzle wiper in the back, and then it moves on to that little plate back there. Then it's going to heat up the hot end and start its flow calibration tests. So the A1 Mini finished up the print as usual without any issues. What are my thoughts on the printer? Well, obviously I have three of them now and be my fourth Bamboo Lab. They're just phenomenal quality machines. Whether you go with the A1 Mini, the A1, the X1C, P1P, P1S, I don't think you can go wrong. Whatever your budget is, I think Bamboo's got a printer for you. And if you really want to do uh, multicolor printing, you can do it on all of their machines as well. Uh, I didn't choose to go with the AMS Lite with this one. I already have it with one of my other A1 Minis as well as my P1P. Most of the stuff that I print is single color or it's assembled from multiple prints. And I do have quite a bit of stuff actually that is multicolor, but I seem to be doing okay with the single uh, A1 Mini with the AMS Lite and the P1P. All right, and that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for joining me today on the unboxing and setup of the new A1 Mini. Hopefully, we've got a few more of those coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, production is really ramping up, and uh, I'm happy with where progress is with the 3D print shop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, take care.